What is up, my mofos? It's me, Mr. Mofo. And I hope all you guys are having an awesome day. And today I'm going to be showing you guys how to make a lot of caps legitly on Fallout 4. This is one of the easiest and the simplest and the fastest way to make caps on Fallout 4 without using any kind of glitches or exploits. Now we're going to be farming watermelons and this is going to make you a lot of caps. Now in order for you to be able to do this, you cannot have this settlement that's at this location. So you cannot have this settlement or you will not be able to do it on this playthrough. Because you need to be able to talk to Lucy Abernathy and you want to do the same speech that I do. We're just going to keep on choosing the top dialogue option. Basically, she will pay you for all of the watermelons that you bring her, but if you keep on Hitting the top option, you can increase it from 3 caps each to 5 caps each. And that's what you're asking. Now, if you already own this settlement, you will not have those options. But she's going to be the one giving us all of her caps, and she has infinite caps when it comes to watermelons. So you will need to have a settlement, and you want to have a radio recruitment tower. For every settler that you have, they can take care of 12 watermelon plants so you got your terminal and you have your beacon and you have your generator and then you should start getting settlers now this is a basic setup for a hundred and twenty melon farm so that's a very basic setup very easy to set up and you can do that at multiple locations if you want to or you can make one even bigger so let's talk about how to spawn infinite watermelons all you have to do is get some planted so you can just start with one and then all you have to do is sleep for 24 hours and then if you go back over they will not be back yet but all you have to do is fast travel anywhere and then fast travel back and then all of the melons will be back and that's how you get them to spawn back so you can spawn them anytime you want to and then sell them back to back so I could pick all these and then plant more and then go to my bed and I would sleep for 24 hours and then I was fast travel back and forth and then they will all be back again so I set up 130 melon farm and we are at Spectacle Island which is one of the best settlements that you can use because it has the most space and you can plant them all over it if you want to but we're just gonna pick them all and then we're gonna fast travel back over here and we're gonna talk to Lucy and we're gonna sell them all and just like that I got 650 caps now that may not seem like a bunch of money but you can do this over and over again so all I would do is just sleep for 24 hours then fast travel back and forth then I would pick them all and then go back to her and then I would sell them and I can get even more caps if I make my melon farm bigger because she has infinite caps now my opinion is this is way better than using water purifiers to make money because it's way easier to set up and you don't have to wait actual in-game minutes you can just sleep and spawn them back to back so let's talk about some of the pros it's on demand money so you can spawn them back to back it doesn't matter if you have five melons or five thousand melons she has infinite cash it's very easy to set up and you can set it up within two hours of playing the game or within one hour if you're just that good so let's talk about the amount of caps that you can make if you have a basic setup of 120 melons and just 10 settlers you will get 600 caps every time and that will take you about 7 to 10 minutes so that's around 5,000 caps every hour and that's just with a basic small setup so if you have a giant one set up, you can get even more than that. A whole lot more than that. But I hope you guys did enjoy this video, and I hope I was able to help you guys out. Don't forget to show me some love and smash that like button. And I will talk to you mofos later.